You know, I'm sitting here resting and I can hear this pouring noise. And you know what? Right now, you won't hear this ever from Vancouverites and British Columbia people. But today, it's going to happen. The words are going to come out of my mouth. Thank God it's raining. Ha. Huh. And you'll never hear a person saying that in Vancouver or British Columbia until you have 303 wildfires going on. And right now that's what they said this morning. And the highways, some of the highways are blocked off. And one of the highways that we're going to go out on and make a trip on is blocked off. So we won't be able to go at this point. So we have to wait and see. Anyhow. Oh, look at this. My green, my jalapeno peppers are coming. Look at this. Not bad, eh? Cute little guys. There's a couple of them there. All these little flower buds. Love it. Okay, welcome to my hood. And you can see the hood has some evidence. I got a paint can. And look at this. Yep, tagged there. Tagged here. Wasn't me who did it. Don't go near the light, Chuck. Don't go near the light. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of humor to try and lighten things up. Uh, I know I haven't been feeling 100% the last month, so we're going to go look at seeing a doctor and go to the clinic. See what's going on. I haven't seen a doctor since 2011 when this tooth broke, broke off and I got a big infection and my head swelled up and ended up in the hospital on an IV. Yeah, uh, it was a scary situation. I, uh, they said I had a chance of uh, dying at that time. I was just so infected. Man, I couldn't move my head or my body. It was a scary situation. So anyhow, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So uh, yeah, we'll go to the clinic, check in and see what's going on and try and uh, gain some normalcy. Hey, we can always check in at the hospital here. The Royal, what is it? Royal Columbian, I was gonna say Royal Canadian. I had thought of checking in here. However, non-emergencies are actually across the street. They have a walk-in clinic, so we'll go check things out and see what happens. Okay, you know, don't need this on. You know, it's kind of funny. The news reported that uh, there was a big lineup for COVID uh, here way back last year. Oh, lineup outside, emergency rooms full. And when I walked by, it was empty last year. Anyhow, uh, we did some preliminary tests. And uh, what they did was they said, I have high blood pressure was number one and a high heart rate. My, <sighs> my heart rate was 120 something. So that they said it's too high and the blood pressure was 130 something. So they said that was uh, pretty borderline too. So what they did was said, I have to go for testing, blood testing. So they gave me a sheet. They're gonna take blood out of both arms. And because my heart rate was uh, so high at a standstill or not doing anything, they wanna check my heart rate. So they're gonna hook me up with a monitor and I have to keep it on for a couple days and check heart rate compared to activities I'm doing. Anyhow, it's too noisy, let's end it. So they sent me to Life Labs to do my testing, which includes a piss test. And I didn't drink any beer today, so you know what? It's a good thing that they're gonna close right away. So uh, yeah, I'll have to come back tomorrow. They made me appointment. I didn't have an appointment and I didn't know you're supposed to have an appointment or you can stand in line you see they got all the chairs stacked up out there for people and I guess there's a big lineup in the morning so anyhow I guess uh, that's it for today we'll come back tomorrow and uh, yeah do the thing and uh, drinking beer in the morning maybe not a good idea however if I was still doing my graveyard shifts blah 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 yeah sometimes a beer in the morning it happens and well, obviously I have my supper when I get home at 7 a.m. The next day. Okay, okay, you know what? I should probably take this off. Anyhow, 
Well, I didn't get all my testing done. Uh, they said the heart monitor test. I have to make phone, make an appointment and come back because they don't have heart monitors in stock. They have to get them from whatever regional blah, 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 blah. But yeah, the piss test, I had no beer in me. So that was quite difficult. Eesh. That definitely wasn't the best experience. Now I've had uh, blood work or needles taken before. Didn't bother me, but this time they took double needled. Both arms is what he requested and holy shit. The dizzy spell, I almost passed out. I was like, woo, just that dizziness is continuing. So yeah, oh boy. Oh well, good times. Okay, look at this insanity. 2.3 million for this place. It's like got no yard and it's a tiny little house for land development at obvious. But wow, that is unfreaking believable. How? How does anybody justify that? Ouch, just got, ah, just got bitten by bug, mosquito or black fly. Anyhow, oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to mention. They told me I have to daily monitor my blood pressure. However, I don't wanna buy a blood pressure, blah, I can't even get that word out. Blood pressure test tool or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, I'd rather just go every day or every second day to, uh, the, maybe I'll try like Walmart. I think they have a tester. Maybe the drugstore here, shoppers might have one. So, yeah. So I guess now it's a matter of just waiting to get my test results back. And uh, I did call into work. I called into work yesterday and today. Left a message with the managing managers saying, you know what, hey, I'm not gonna be in this week. <laughs> and you know what, there's no way in hell I'm gonna quit because if, depending on what happens I sh might should get a stress leave because hey they denied me holidays for two years now so anyhow what does this mean now I don't know waiting game <laughs> so yes Chuck it's a waiting game we have to wait two weeks before I get my heart test so I think in the meantime to release some stress we're gonna go a camping that's I, I really like Chilliwack I wouldn't mind going out there again and now that it rained and some of the highways sh are supposed to be opening up or should be opening up they're not blockaded because of the fires I wouldn't mind getting a away for the at least a week of those two weeks maybe out towards yeah Okanagan's or Shushwap very beautiful wait to see it so my friends, you know what, hey, a lot of blah 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 this video, but you know what, it's very important. And for me to see that, hey, you know what, I have something going on with my heart, I have something going on with my stress, the arm tingling is not good, that feeling I get like heartburn in my chest, something going on there. I have to look after my well-being and you guys are here with me following along looking after my well-being too and that's why you guys are awesome so you know what it's a coffee cheers for you no beers but we still got cheers so you know what hey oh that's strong keep staying awesome guys we'll see you next time uh chuck why do you keep saying stay awesome guys there's girls out there too there's women out there so you know what Keep staying awesome, everyone. Cheers again.